Hello fellow scratchers, in this episode I'm going to show you how to make this awesome scroll bar. Okay, so let's proceed, shall we? So, first things first, I have this scroll bar sprite. Okay, and in this sprite I have the back layer, which is going to be over here. Okay, and I have the front where you move and scroll the thing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create a clone of this. So one, one, no, this real sprite is gonna be this scroll bar here, while the fake clone is going to be the back. So when green flag click, I'll create a clone of myself. And in the clone, I want to switch to the back costume. Okay. Now, I want the back costume to be right over here. Which, I, if I'm not mistaken, the coordinate should be around the Y position, which is 0. And for the X position, it will be somewhere around 233. Okay, you can see my back scroll bar over here. Now let's code the stick, the joystick. So in this one, we're gonna code it right over here. So I want to switch the costume to the front stick. And I also want to set the X to 233. And I want to set the Y position to on top here, which is 144. Okay, now create a new variable and name it scroll. Okay, now I want you to set the scroll to 144, which is going to be the same as our set Y. Now make sure this sprite will be sent to the most front layer and I want it to be shown. Now add a forever loop and I want you to wait. Add a wait until block and wait until the mouse pointer Touching mouse pointer and mouse down, meaning if your mouse is clicking on it, on dragging. Now add a repeat until block here. And set the Y. Set the Y to mouse Y. Okay. Also add a repeat until not mouse down. So when when we not have not released our mouse, meaning it's growing. Okay. Now in this repeat until statement, I want you to add in two more if statements in it. One, I want you to add this less than block and add a Y position. So if the Y position is more than 144, then we want it to set Y to 144. So then, this scroll bar here won't exceed and become this short. So you only stay until this height. And it might also go too low here. So I want you to duplicate this. And if Y position, is less than so if the y position is less than negative 143 then i want you to set it to 143 there we go last of all i want you to add the scroll variable and set scroll to our normal y position 
Okay. So if you come to the full screen, you can see that this scroll is able to scroll up and down and will not exceed the height. Now let's add a character to make it scrollable. So you can choose any sprite you want. But for me, I'm going to go with the typical scratch cat. Okay, I want the scratch cat. When the scroll is up, I want the scratch cat to be below. And when I start scrolling, scratch cat will follow and slowly goes all the way up when my scroll bar is down. So let's try and code that. So when green flag click, I want the scratch cat to be in the center. So I'll make it, I'll set the X to zero. Okay. And I want to set the Y position to the scroll. So I'm gonna add an if else statement here. Okay, and now if so if the scroll so oh wait so when the number where our scroll bar is positive we want the cat to be at the negative position of the scroll so let's say if we check that the Y position of the scroll bar contains a negative, it means that the scroll bar is somewhere below. Now I want you to set Y to the positive value. And you might be thinking how to do this. Well, I want you to go and drag this apps block out. And I want you to add the apps of scroll. Let's say if our scroll is at negative 147. You can see that the Y position is negative 147, so this will be true. And if true, with this blocks, the apps, you set the Y position to the top here, which is the apps of scroll. So if this Y position of scroll bar is negative 147, the apps of scroll will be 147. The apps block will usually just take away the negative symbol of a variable. So, as you can see here, if... Okay, so, else, we would like to set the Y to a negative number. So you can add this join block. So we can set it to a negative scroll. Okay. So let's say if we drag this down. Oh wait. If you see me at the scroll, it was supposed to be this Y position of scroll bar. So I want you to change them both back to Y position of scroll. Bar. Now if you start scrolling, you can see that whenever I scroll up, the scratch cat will be down, and when I scroll down, the scratch cat will be up. So in, just imagine that if the scratch cat is really, really big. Somewhere like this. Okay. So, this is the scratch cat. And this is normal. If you want to see the bottom of it, let's say we have another character underneath. Like... Like Pico. You can simply copy the costume. Go to the cat sprite here place it underneath, and zoom in to the same size as you want. And then you use the scroll bar here, you can scroll down and you can see Pico right here. So let's make this um, smaller. Oh. 
Okay. So let's say you have this flag. You want to see the bottom over here. So what you can do is, you can also hide the scroll variable. You can use this to scroll and see what's below. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next video. I'll make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Bye guys!